Hey, how's it going? Let's pick it up in Matthew chapter 25 and read verses 14 through 30, just reading it verse by verse. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. So now this is Jesus still speaking. And in the previous video, we saw Jesus give a parable talking about the end times. And in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talks a lot about the end times and gives end times prophecy. So when he says, again, it will be like a man going on a journey, he's continuing this conversation about end times. Verse 15, to one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. So one thing that's important to note about this is a talent is not like somebody's ability uh, as it, uh, you know, it says each according to his ability. Um, we're not just talking about somebody's ability to sing, you know, something like that. We're talking about uh, a talent here is a weight of, you know, of measure. it's a weight measurement so that you know how much gold it is or something like that, you know, like a pound of gold, that sort of a thing. Um, so it's a way of measuring. So that's how he's telling how much money is being given to each person. And I really like thought about these verses a lot because then it's like, okay, well, a talent, it does sort of mean like a, a talent then, right? Like if we're talking about this parable and the true meaning of it, what is the true meaning of it? Is it like somebody's talent, like somebody's ability to sing, somebody's, you know, ability to, to preach and that sort of a thing? I really think that this is, if you look at 1 Corinthians 13, the, the chapter that talks about how love is really, really important above all things in the last verse where these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. I think it's really important to remember like, hey, maybe you don't feel like you have, you know, some of these, you know, abilities, these kind of stage abilities or, you know, like those kind of a things. But I think these verses are not talking about the five talents as the person that can, you know, sing really well or whatever. I think it's talking about the people that can, can love the most, that have those eternal things like faith, hope, and love, the fruit of the spirit, that kind of a thing. So I think those are the people with five talents. And I think that, that concept is is echoed even further uh, when we look at the parable of the sheep and the goats in the next video. So keep that in mind. We'll read verse 16. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with the two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. So there's a master. He gives five talents to one, two talents to another, and one to uh, to the last one. And so the five, the one with five, this, this large amount of money goes out and makes five more. The one with two goes out and makes two more. But then the one with the one, he doesn't just go out and spend it lavishly, but he goes and digs a hole in the ground and he hides the money. Verse 19. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. So now uh, the master comes back. This could be either maybe when somebody, you know, dies and, and goes to heaven and, and they, you know, you kind of go uh, have your life review or, you know, see, see God, you know, at the, at the end of your life. And so um, that or like Jesus coming back the second time, as we were talking about with end times, that sort of a thing. Either way, this seems to be talking about, you know, kind of at the end of our lives, we end up talking to God about what we've done. And Jesus gives this reply to the guy with five talents, the one who earned five more. And he says, well done, good and faithful servant. Now that's something you want to hear. Verse 22, the man with the two talents also came master. He said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. So something that's very, very interesting about these verses is that the one with two talents, he gains two more. Now, should he have gained five more? Was that the expectation of the master? Is that the expectation of God? Well, no, the one who gets two more when they only had two in the first place, they get the same response. Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been in charge of uh, and faithful uh, with two little things. Now I'll make you in charge of many things. So gets the same response. We don't have to do more than we're capable of. God is very, very reasonable. He knows what you can do. And maybe that's more, maybe that's less. But as long as we're faithful with whatever we're doing, God gives that, that same kind of response. And then verse 24, 
Then the man who had received the one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has the ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I think one of the main concepts that we can gather from these verses is that, like, hey, we need to not be stagnant. We need to not be stuck. We need to not be lukewarm because this guy didn't go out and just spend his talent or just waste it. He just dug a hole in the ground and hid it there. And when his master came back, he was not pleased with him. I think a really, really important verse that talks about this concept as well is in Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. So this is a, a letter to the church in, in Laodicea, and it says in verse 16, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. And in verse 15, it says that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were one or the other. We need to not be lukewarm. That is incredibly, incredibly important. God wants us to have an active faith. So let's put our talent to use and let's love people. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to it's gonna surface in, in these, uh, you know, uh, abilities like, you know, somebody that can sing or something like that. But like, let's go out and let's feed people. Let's go out and be kind to people. Let's go out and share our faith. Those are the things that, that really, really matter. If we can do those things, then maybe when we get to the end of our life, we can hear that well done good and faithful servant from God. So let's pray and let's pray for God to help us with that, help us to be active and to help us to, to love people and to put our talents to use. So let's pray. Lord God, I just thank you. I thank you for these verses, incredible, incredible verses. And I just pray, Lord God, that you would help us to be to be active. If there's any part of our life that is stagnant, any part of our life that's stuck, I pray that you would root that out of us and help us to, to put our talent to use, Lord God, whatever that might be. Lord God, we just pray that you would help us to love people, be kind, to feed people. Help us to be able to do that and bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.